Good morning. We're so happy you're here. James, he loves the Polar Express. Um, we daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. It is July 25th. So we are celebrating Christmas in July. He's got red and white stripes on, like a little candy cane. I have my You Are Now in Bedford Falls shirt on, and we're watching Polar Express. <laughs> However, we're actually headed to the south side unexpectedly. I look like I, I mean, I didn't just wake up. Um, but we're kind of just pulling ourselves together fast because we're going to my sister's to help her out with something around the house. Um, and I told her we would if we could celebrate Christmas in July while we were there. So today we're still, even though we're gonna be there, we're gonna have Christmas music all day, Christmas movies all day, um, and maybe some Christmas treats. This is our year round candy cane jar. So I'm gonna bring these with. James is gonna watch Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. He's like, what? What kind of Looney Tune parents do I have? We've got Christmas music on and another little candy cane boy over here. I don't know how much you can see. Okay, now we're moving. There's lots of big tents and set up because Lollapalooza is this week. We have never been as Chicagoans. I don't know, is that blasphemous? Maybe a little. I have no desire. You have no desire? If there was a great headline, I think it's just like my desire is more about seeing a cool performance. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, I don't have a desire to go to Lollapalooza. I work at a hotel that hosts Lollapalooza yeah. participants. And that was enough for you? It was enough. It was I like festivals. Like we like Country Thunder Festival was actually this past weekend in Wisconsin that Peter and Peter grew up going and then I started to go to when um when we started dating. Like girlfriend. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I still have lipstick on from yesterday. Um, but anyways, I think now like we would probably like festival differently. Like we would just go and sit back and stuff. Cause it's just like, it's, it gets so muddy. I mean, unless the weather cooperates, but it's usually pretty, pretty intense. Ooh, look at who do the Sicards think they are? They got like a whole at-home gym. Look at the flooring. They got a mirror. Sweet. This is what we're here for. Sump pump. It sounds like it's just constantly going. All right, current hypothesis is pump works. We've confirmed that. Didn't burn out yet. Um, I think the float is getting caught. And so I think it was just been stuck on for like two days. So we're gonna clean it out, make sure that that's actually what's happening, and then fill up this pump, this tank again and run it and make sure it doesn't work. But if that, right now it's looking like the most promising case that we might not even have to buy any replacement pump or valves or anything. Hi. Hi, Bobby. Hi. Hi. Are you back with your cousin? All right, so I have both the boys on a snooze stroll. Teddy's asleep in the carrier, and I think James just fell asleep. Um, but it's so much more quiet in um, Evergreen Park, that is where I grew up, um, than around our neighborhood. It's a little bit more hustle and bustle, but it's been nice, and it's really nice out. But we're still enjoying our Christmas movie day. We watched Santa Claus and The Grinch, I'm not sure, depends on, so Peter's still working. So he's been able to help when he can with what they're doing around the house. Um, and we'll know after his, like when he's on his lunch and he gets a better look at it, if we're gonna be here the rest of the night or if it's a quick fix. 
I'm out of breath. <laughs> I treated myself to some sushi. I'm not gonna be eating all of this, obviously, but I am gonna be eating outside while James naps. He's napping in there. Once Peter's ready, he's gonna come and help me. But until then, I'm gonna have some sushi and kombucha by myself out here. If you live by a Pete's Fresh Market, I highly recommend their sushi. Hey, everybody. So, my work day is come to an end. So I'm gonna hop back on to the wannabe plumber um, fix. Also, their oven um, igniter wasn't working. So at least I think that's what it is. So their, their oven's not heating on. So we were able to Amazon Prime a new igniter for the oven. So that's actually supposed to get here today because we live in a big city. Um, so we're gonna stay here until at least that shows up. So hopefully we'll fix their oven and their pump today. I, we cleared up the tank. I think it's the check valve, but now it's the dirty part of I have to take the valve out and test it and see if that's what it is. Cause that's what it is. That's a cheaper, easier fix. Um, I can just run over at Home Depot and grab a new one for like 20 bucks. The pump is more expensive, but the pump is working. I just think it's not turning off because the check valve is faulty and, and flimsy coming back and everything. So I'm gonna take the valve out, give that a once over. But this is when the water and the messiness really starts. I got good news, Sarah. Yeah? This is the check valve. Yeah? Remember I told you that it's, it could be a $20 fix. It could be a $400 fix. I should not be able to see you. Really? Yeah. I have no idea what that even is. There's supposed to be a, a little, um, like a, a valve there, a gate that goes like this when water gets shot up there. So this is a $20 fix. I'm gonna go measure the pipe and go to Home Depot and get this. And hopefully this fixes it. Oh goodness. Teddy had just woken up. I have him napping on me. You can do a lot of stuff around the house for never owning a home. <laughs> I can't. Google. That is what a check valve should look like not just open. Look who's away. We got Elf on. <laughs> climb! <laughs> climb, climb, climb. Sometimes I need a little help. Yeah. And I, I, and I use this to get up. Awesome. Okay. Oh, he's coming. Whoa. Let go. Whee. Go, go, go. Okay, thank you for being kind. Woo! <laughs> Is tragedy why you're you my remedy? <laughs> you think he's funny? Back at Home Depot for the second time. So. The check valve didn't need to get replaced, but the float switch is also bad. So I'm gonna try to buy a universal piggyback, which I'll show you, rather than getting the internal piece, but worst case, we'll get an internal piece. So this is the problem sometimes. This is what I was coming for, a piggyback float switch. But I like the one this, the way this looks. This looks more reliable, but I don't know if that cord is long enough. Ah. So they got this on pump thing situated. James and I are found trains here we're playing trains here um Teddy's having a little snack oh Luca's up from his snooze and I realized that we had left you guys hanging on how much we had to pay for parking the other night so if you haven't watched that vlog I'll link it here it's when we were going to Navy Pier to eat I thought we were parking at a parking lot that would give us like a discount for parking at Navy Pier it had the same name but it was the wrong address for the amount of time we were there, it was $37, which is extreme. We were supposed to only pay $15, but the silver lining was Navy Piers parking for the same amount of time would have been $37 if we had just like not, if we just parked at Navy Pier, like we had originally planned. The only thing is we had to walk, so whatever value there was, you know, in the time and the effort that it took us to like walk that distance. I guess is like what we missed out on because we paid the same amount that we would have at Navy Pier, but we paid 17 more dollars than we expected. Yes? One last piece? No. Woo! Woo! Yes. Now, 
<laughs> what about your nose? What a lovely summer meal Christina's prepared for us. Yeah, indeed. Crock pot beef sandwiches, french fries, Caesar salad, watermelon. Grant, we might have fixed your sub pump. We, you did. Yeah. It was I a know. team effort. Yeah. But I, I am the one with poop underneath my nails. I stood here and cheered you on. For That's the what I needed. Line. This is the, the battlefield. Um, we're going to test it after dinner. We tested it once, it works. We're going to test it again after dinner, and then I think onto the stove. And to be clear, I was going to hire a plumber, a Peter volunteer. <laughs> I did not ask him to do this. <laughs> All right, the next project is replacing that igniter there with this fancy sparkly new one. Ooh, nice piano playing. And like that, thanks to the advent of YouTube, Amazon, Google, having your spouse's grandpa's gas tools from decades and decades and decades ago. Shout out Grandpa Joe. Um, we have a fixed sump pump and a fixed oven, stove, the bottom piece of whatever that is. I don't know which one's the stove and which one's the oven. The box where you put the turkey works. It's heating up right now. We're gonna go help Auntie Christina pick some tomatoes. I don't think we showed this during the daytime. Christina's a, your average Joe Green Thumb over here. She got tomatoes getting picked off the vine. Things really wasn't interesting. <laughs> He's got the water table over there. I thought it was going to be a fun thing I think if it was date... Uh, yeah. I think if it was daytime, James would just be eating everything right from off there. Senor Vespa. Um, as you can see, we're back downtown. Gonna go home and continue the Christmas in July as we wind down to put the kids to sleep. Jamesy, do you remember the tower we built this morning? This was one of the most impressive towers I believe we've ever built. Look at that! And for our last Christmas movie of the day, Home Alone. <laughs> Teddy's snoozing on my lap. That little lip twitch. He actually has his two month checkup tomorrow morning. So we obviously share a lot about our lives um, and we love that, but there are things that I don't always find necessary. There are many things we don't share, um, but I will say that our doctors have cleared us to be like back to just normal activity. Um, and so that's like such a relief, even more so is the relief of us actually all feeling better and feeling back to normal. Um, two weeks, man, that was, was brutal, but so grateful that things were as mild as they were. Um, so when we were on our way home, I ran into Jewel with the hopes of getting chocolate milk and eggnog. If you have been watching our vlogs, you know that that's one of our favorite Christmas drinks that we make is half eggnog, half chocolate milk. Um, specifically Oberweiss chocolate milk. And they did not have eggnog, they did not have eggnog ice cream. I was hoping that I could kind of emulate this, this treat, but um, just got chocolate, just got the chocolate milk. And I also picked up a liter of cranberry ginger ale. That's another, another favorite. So Peter and I are going to enjoy that while we finish. We might have to start home alone. We'll, I don't know, depending on how late it is once he gets out with Jamesy, he's putting him down now. Um, we'll just relax and enjoy our treats and watch Home Alone. I like how we're doing this Christmas in July. Like we're pretending like we don't do this on the regular. <laughs> Evie does not like you. Um, what you got there? <laughs> I did it all in one trip. Cranberry ginger ale. Are we gonna put some of the mint in that? Hmm? Are we putting some of the mint in that? We could. We got mint and basil from Christina's garden. She thinks she's all that. And a massive cucumber. I can't really um, can't like the cucumber. Some chips and dip. Great, thanks. I'm sorry I don't have pizza. <laughs> I, I really. requested pizza. <laughs> Very tired. We are 
Happy Christmas in July. Mm -hmm. It's good Take to be home. home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>